In this video, we're going to briefly show the new device definition librarian and how it interacts with the main editor here. To open your librarian, hit uh, Control D, or you can go into Utilities, External Device Definitions. So I'll go ahead and do it that way. And this is what the main window looks like. So let me start fresh here. Should delete everything. Okay, so now we have no definitions in our library. I'm going to show you how to do this uh, rather quickly. So let's create a device. Hit enter. Uh, yes, we want to create a device. So now we have a single device created with nothing programmed yet. Let's go and create a second device. And we'll add a new device. And yes. OK. So now we have two devices in our library. Now I'm going to let the computer, the editor do most of the work for me. So I'm going to start at CC number 0 and go to 127 and do an auto program. And you can see that it just added all 127. And so now I can go in and grab a CC. So let's say number 7. And in my case, that's my uh, volume and so on. I know 15 is uh, the tuner. Okay, so uh, you get the idea. So now I can go over to the Kemper, which has nothing programmed, and uh, go ahead and program 127. So now all I have to do is basically fill in the labels. Now my axe is on channel 1, so I'm going to assign it channel 1, and then I'm going to basically have it auto program everything in there. The Kemper is on channel 2. So we'll sign that. Good. So now we have two devices and we're basically done at this point. Of course you can fill in. Now you can import files that you've previously saved and grab devices and you can export them. So in this case I have a, an AxeFX and a Kemper so I can highlight both of them or one of them tells you how many you have highlighted right down here. Uh, assume releasing an editor that allow you to share with other people uh, directly through this interface uh, via our website. And then we can go from there. Okay, so let's show interaction between the librarian and the editor itself. So I'm going to move this over here so you can see the effects. So I'm going to go ahead and program it the original way, which is grab a MIDI channel, a MIDI message, uh, pick a CC and let's say 6. Now if I click on that you'll see that the editor librarian already highlighted uh, number 6. Actually a better one would have been 7 because I already programmed that. And so you, now you can see it jumps to 7. Now I can take an effect over here, could just grab it and drop it in and you can see now it applied it. And vice versa, I can take a, let's create a device, let's call it Axe 2. And, okay, so now I have an empty device. So now I can grab messages. Oh, it's going to automatically jump over. Okay, so if I grab a message that doesn't exist, uh, let's change this to channel 3. And let's go back to our Axe 2. Okay, so now I can grab this and bring it in. And you can see that it automatically populated. So now all I have to do is tell the system what this was. Effect. <laughs> okay, and so you can go basically back and forth. So I can grab the effects, populate them, and then grab. Now this works in IA slots as well. And there's one difference. So let's go back to our Axe effects. You can see that we pre-program with the on message and the off messages, and you can make that anything you want. Uh, for Kemper, these are really uh, on messages are one and off is zero. Um, but in any case, if I take this effect and I drag it onto the on message, you'll see it automatically populated with on 27. If I take that same effect and put it in the off, you'll see that it populated it with a zero. 
so it's aware of what it's doing and how it applies so that is the librarian